Hello everybody, today we'll be looking at the P365 BB gun and how to field strip it really quick and then I'm going to lube it up, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so first thing you guys need to do is obviously take the magazine out, make sure it's not loaded, and then to take off the slide it's quite simple. It's quite similar to the P365 9mm. Basically lock the slide back like that. And then take that takedown lever and pull it down. Now it will go all the way to that direction, but basically as long as it's at least 90 degrees, you'll be okay. So the way this slide works is that there are two rails in the back here and that's it. So the way you have to take this off is push back on the slide and then you're gonna just lift up. And once you do that, you'll let the slide come forward like that. And this slide is super light compared to uh, the nine millimeter. If you do squeeze here, you could actually bend that. So take good care of the slide. Everything else here, you have the spring, the recoil spring on the guide rod. And then you have the guide rod with a couple of washers here, a rubber one and then the metal one. So make sure it's the rubber and then the metal and then the spring when you put it back together, okay? You'll also notice this little bit of a, a flat spot here which basically keys it so that you have to line it up in the correct spot before you put it back on, okay? So just a couple things there. Other than that, one big important thing is to not pull the trigger when you have the slide off. If you do that, the hammer is going to come forward and if you put the slide back on, you're going to interfere with that hammer and the bottom part of this slide here and you won't be able to cock it anymore and if you do you'll actually wear away a little bit of the hammer or the bottom part of that slide and then your gun probably won't function properly after that so don't pull the trigger if you do pull the trigger what you're going to need to do is actually get some really tiny uh, what I use is a screwdriver or some kind of nail or whatever to push that hammer back until it cocks again and then you can safely put the slide on again so that's one of the biggest things if you pull the trigger and you put the slide on and you have a problem trying to rack the slide again that was your problem um, at that point you really need to take it take good care of trying to get the slide off and put that hammer in the cock position again and hopefully you didn't wear away anything important there okay so now that i got the slide apart we're going to take this molly lube which is a dry film lubricant and i really like this stuff if you don't want to use any kind of wet lube in areas where you don't want a lot of buildup so i use this a lot in the ar-15 bolt area especially but this is also great for air guns it even says that it's one of the good uses of this it's going to be a gray type of lubrication and it'll you'll spray it on and it'll dry really quick so let's even get a good shot of it i'm just going to put some molly lube right in that rail near the rear of the slide some light sprays like that and you can see how it just dries pretty quickly do the same on the other side Maybe it's also pretty good to do it from the back as well. So you don't need a whole lot, but just make sure you have enough on there for however much shooting you're going to do. Okay. Now if you really want to, you could actually put a little bit into the trigger area and also on the rail here, just like that. Okay. Other than that, nothing else really needs to be lubed a lot. I mean, you could wear metal on metal rubs, maybe in that area, put a little bit in there. And I'm not going to pull the trigger because I don't want to deal with um, setting the hammer back again. And if you slightly pull the trigger, you'll notice this area moves a lot. So let's even get some lube in there or it's actually got some lube on there still from the factory. This is brand new, by the way. So I won't really deal with that inside the barrel and the sleeve here. So once you're done with that, oh, let's go ahead and just put a little bit on the spring too. And you should be good, okay? Let's put everything back together. It's quite simple. 
get that guide rod keyed in there properly. And then what you want to do is get that spring in the bottom part of the slide, line that barrel up in there. Just kind of have to finagle it. Mine went in pretty easily there. Slide all the way back and just push back as hard as you can to hopefully slide that slide over those rails again and slide it forward. Put your takedown lever in, test it out. You can pull the trigger here. Okay, cycle it a little bit, get all that lube in there and you're ready to go shoot. Hopefully this video helped you guys out on how to take down the P365 BB gun. If you like this video, go ahead and click subscribe, like the video, and if you don't like it, go ahead and click that thumbs down button twice, okay? We'll see you next time. Take care.